On three's number one ranked defensive lineman, LJ McCray, is expected to make a final decision this month. We're already 10 days in October, so if McCray sticks to his timeline of a decision in October, we could be hearing from him sometime in, say, the next two to three weeks. Now, his recruitment has been a heated one. It seemed like primarily a big three battle when this cycle began, but this summer, Georgia gets involved. Then last weekend, Auburn gets him on campus. So it seems like there are five teams that all have a shot, but he's coming off a visit to Florida State which could end up being his final stop before a decision. We're going to break it all down in this video. So before we do that, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We're getting this thing cranked up. We want you guys to be a part of it. Hit subscribe. All right, let's bring on director of recruiting here at On3, Chad Simmons. And Chad, LJ McCray was at Florida State this weekend on his official visit. Now, he took most of his official visits to his primary schools in the summer, but he kept this one out in the fall for Florida State. What are you hearing on how that trip went? You know, very well as expected. I think FSU asked, you know, early for that final and last official visit, and they got it. You know, I think obviously they've done a great job. He's been to Tallahassee as much or more than any school on his list. He was at Florida State in Orlando. I'm sorry, in Orlando for the Florida State game against mm -hmm. LSU to kick off the season back this past weekend for the OV. I've been hearing there maybe was a little bit of a quiet, unofficial visit there in between now and then as well. So FSU is a place he's very familiar with. He knows the staff extremely well. He's very comfortable in Tallahassee, and he likes how Florida State is playing this season as well. So uh, nothing but high marks so far based on what I'm hearing about McCray's time in Tallahassee this past weekend. All right, so I mentioned five teams at the top of the segment, FSU, UF, Miami, Georgia, and Auburn. So as we hit the home stretch of his recruitment, because we could be two or three weeks out from a decision, which program or programs are you hearing the most buzz about when it comes to McCray? Yeah, I mean, McCray's been about as good as they come in telling coaches what they want to hear over the past couple of months. I think there's some level of confidence at all five programs. Now, I do think there's maybe a higher level at different schools than others, but I think him making that trip to Auburn, uh, things went well there for the Georgia game. Uh, he had a good time. He sees the ability to play in the SEC and commit there, uh, compete there. I think they're probably the school that maybe I've heard the least about mm -hmm. uh, over the last few weeks. I think Miami had a good visit with him getting on campus uh, last month as well. That's probably the fourth school uh, ahead of Auburn, I've heard the most or the least about, I guess I should say. And then Florida, Florida State and Georgia, those are probably the three I've heard the most about consistently since the OVs back in June. And then, of course, the visits in September and the OV to Florida State this past weekend. I think there's some confidence at Florida. Maybe their biggest competition is Florida State. I think Florida State maybe thinks Georgia and Florida might be their biggest competition. And Miami is quietly feeling that they can have a chance to land this in-state program from Daytona Beach, Mainland High School, as well down in South Florida. So I think if I had to give you the three schools I hear the most about, it would be Florida, Florida State, and Georgia. All right. So – Coming off this trip to Florida State, I think the the Knoll staff has to like where they're sitting if this ends up being his last visit. Now, he doesn't have any official visits scheduled, but Chad, are you hearing any chatter about LJ McCray taking a possible visit or two before he makes his final decision, or do you think this was it? Yeah, I don't think he's ever ruled that out. I don't think McCray knows right now exactly what he's going to do and when he's going to do it. I do know Mainland High School plays a couple of Thursday night games, giving him the opportunity mm -hmm. to take trips if he'd like to in the coming weeks just to make sure and make that final decision. The last time I spoke with him, uh, he wasn't sure exactly when he would make that decision, if the Florida State would be his final visit before then. I think his family's been very much involved in this. I think he'll sit down again at least once or two more times to make sure uh, he's ready to make that call when that time comes. Right now, I've heard nothing new scheduled for McCray as far as visits go. Could that change? Of course, it all is very fluid and changes very quickly in recruiting. But right now, I think the plan is to sit down, take some time, and figure out if he's ready or not to make that call. Hmm. Now, I know you haven't made a prediction, but are you leaning anywhere right now, or is it too, 
too early to call. Yeah, I would say it's still too early. I mean, obviously, you want to kind of dig and kind of get what you can find out after an official visit. But obviously, things coming off in OV is always high for a prospect, no matter who he talks to, if it's a, yeah. the coaching staff there. But I do know communication has been still consistent with all five schools. Again, I think Florida, Florida State, and Georgia are the three I hear the most about, likely, based on what I'm hearing, had the best shot. But I think still too early to say who I think maybe that lead school is right now for McCray. All right. Well, we're going to keep a close eye on LJ McCray's recruitment, see if he books any last-minute visits before this decision. Uh, but speaking of announcements, four-star defensive lineman Aiden Breland. I'm going to ask you about Aiden Breland. We're going to get out of here. But Aiden Breland out of modern-day California is set to announce his much-anticipated decision on Saturday. This Saturday, it'll come down to three programs, Miami, Oregon, and Georgia. Chad, which way are you leaning here with Aiden Breland? You know, you asked me today, Josh, I'm leaning to Oregon. Ask me tomorrow. Let's see what I say next. But look, you know, it, it's, this was been back and forth based on what I've heard over the past, you know, month to six weeks between Oregon and Georgia, mm -hmm. you know, battling at the top. Miami definitely hasn't raised the white flag. They haven't thrown in the towel. They're still in communication with Breland and his camp. But based on what I'm hearing, going into September, uh, I like where Oregon said. Coming off that visit to Georgia, Breland took with his teammate Nathaniel Frazier, who's committed to Georgia back in September. I, I like where Georgia set coming off that visit. And that really kind of stayed the same up until three, four, five days ago. Now it shifted back towards the Pac-12, soon to be Big Ten program, the Oregon Ducks. I like where Lanning and that program sits. They were the first school to offer. They're on the West Coast, closer to home. He's been there the most. Right now, I like where Dorigan, Oregon is trending for Aiden Breland. Wow. This is going to be a battle down to the wire because I kind of like where Georgia sits. So, you know, they have his teammate. They've brought him in on a couple unofficial visits along with that official. So we'll see what happens there. But, boy, we were talking about two really highly coveted defensive linemen in this update, LJ McCray and Aiden Breland. Both are expected to come off the board in October. So, Chad, we'll talk about this again here shortly. But thanks for stopping by today on the Inside Scoop, coming off a big visit weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.